Earlier this evening, we see Ty Flores making his way into the arena. He will be taking on the very tough kickboxer, Gerard Thomas, in our co-main event this evening. But coming up next, out of Ravens Ridge, it is Jason Gavril. He'll be taking on Arvin Mills. And now, please welcome to the cage, Arvin Mills. Coming to us by way of Marion, Illinois, it is Arvin Mills. Now, Arvin has been wrestling since the age of six, literally from six to 18. At one point in time, he was ranked six in the nation with USA Wrestling. Ryan, you know those are some pretty hefty credentials. Oh, definitely, definitely. USA Wrestling, big organization, uh, and to just have that prowess to be ranked among those guys nationally, that's a, that's a big feather in your cap, that's for sure. And his opponent, Jason Gavril. The grandfather of three, Jason Gavril, makes his way to the cage tonight. Not only is he a competitor at 42 years old, he also owns the gym, the Ravens Ridge. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Jason Gavril, as I said, 42 years old, six foot two, 167.6 pounds. Arvin Mills, 26 years old, 5'11", 171 pounds. Gavril told me though that he has got to strike fast and maintain his composure. Let's see how it plays out. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for three rounds in the Shamrock FC welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the Metro PCS blue corner, a mixed martial artist that stands five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighed in officially at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Marion, Illinois, Arvin Mills. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the Metro PCS red corner. This fighter stands six feet, two inches tall. Weighted in officially at 167.6 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Jason Gavrin. Referee Mark Wassum has the call for this fight. That was a stare down, Jeremy. Look at the smile there though on Jason Gavril's face. Quick touch of the gloves. Let's see how quickly does Arvin go to his wrestling. Yeah, Gavril circling the outside. Arvin tried to force a little bit of headlock there. Good underhook work from Jason Gavril. Gavril trying to maintain that underhook, looking to do some damage. You're trying to take down Mills. Yeah. Flip. Double underhook position there, though. Now, oh, he's got the high single. Yep, flipping the tail, switches that into a double and plants him. Jason Gavril working off his back, trying to make some space here. Yeah, he's got that head right underneath the chin. Looking to grind away but at Jason Gavril. A head position here, game fight coming up. Gavril trying to work that guard nice and active, but not able to put any submissions as Mills has put him up against the cage, which makes it very hard to work. Yeah, he's up against the cage. He's doing a good job of following his hips from top, not giving him room to posture up. I'm sorry, to throw up any submissions, but he might need to posture up and look to rain some damage here before the referee takes a look at it. Close. Heavy top pressure here coming out of Arvin Mills. Gavril trying to work that open guard, looking for a potential sweep. Use those toes to kind of redirect his head off the cage, but still a heavy, heavy top game from Arvin Mills. Mills using that wrestling prowess here. Yes, he is. And he postured up right there, landed a shot, and then went right back to the guard. 
Now, as we see there's, here, there's the triangle. Yeah, we're working for the triangle, trying to move the position. He was able to get, he was able to get that wrist control, slip that leg over. Gabriel has got to grab the leg. They'll start to turn the hips to pull it in, though. Yeah, he's got the position right now, but he doesn't have the angle to really cut that off. Under 38 seconds remaining here in round one. And by that, I mean your ability to breathe. Absolutely. He is right in front of us here in the broadcast booth trying to move through. Again, if he could get that hook in, he could possibly finish because that's a deep triangle. Yeah, that's, again, it's beautifully positioned. He's just got to get that angle. There it was. There was the tap, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Gabriel finishing the fight with just seconds remaining. Got that angle, cinched in. That's all it took to cut off that airflow was that little bit of an angle. Sometimes you just got to wrap, grab, and turn the hips just enough, and that makes everything go away. Beautiful. Hey, set that trap and finish. Beautiful work there from the 42-year-old Jason Gabriel taking another win as we go to our Mattingly Lumber instant replay. As we see here, he turns those hips out, and that's what gets the finish. Yes, that was the pressure right there. And yeah, beautiful setup into a finish and a relentless pursuit of the finish. All right, let's send it up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this one comes to a close at two minutes, 44 seconds into the very first round, declaring your winner by submission out of the red corner, Jason Gavrell! Jason Gavril adding another win here to his record, moving to two and one in the world of mixed martial arts. At 42 years old, that is a heck of an accomplishment. That's a big win, that's a big win. At any age, you start racking up back-to-back -back wins. We still have more action to come right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships 305, and we'll be right back right after this.